Million Dollar Quartet is the Tony Award winning musical that tells the story of a 1965 impromptu recording session featuring stars Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins and Jerry Lee Lewis, but early in their career. That dramatization is the latest offering from the Riverside Center for the Performing Arts in Fredericksburg. The actors who portray those rock and roll legends are here to share a performance with you. First though, we welcome producing artistic director Patrick Ahern. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Cheryl. You brought star power with you this morning. More than star power. It's a million dollar show. It so is you've a million got the, show. the the million dollar show this morning, but uh Gosh, what a cast. I mean, uh, if you're talking dream cast, uh, I think we've got And they're it. dreamy. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> they're dreamy because it's an early morning for them, so maybe they're still in that dream state. But uh, no, uh, it, just a tremendous show. The, the, all that great music of, of that period, and to think it happened in uh, one sort of impromptu jazz session. And our, our cast, uh, they, they pick up the essence of these uh, iconic people from from back when, and, and uh, the audiences are going nuts so far. Yeah. yeah, you were telling me that this show is selling like crazy. Selling like crazy. Um, Million Dollar Quartet played Broadway probably about five, six years yeah, ago. Yeah, 2010 it opened on yeah, Broadway. Yeah, and uh, it, it's been touring quite a bit in, in uh, national tour in the regions, but uh, we're the first theater, I believe, in the area to uh, have the rights, and boy, has it paid off. And oh, that's We great. had a huge success last year with the Buddy Holly story, yeah. and so when we did the Buddy Holly story, a lot of people said, are you going to do a Million Dollar Quartet? And I had already had it on our bill, too. Oh. Oh, yeah. to do the show, Forsyth, but Forsyth. Uh, people enjoy uh, that kind of live concert feel to a show every now and then. Well, there's something about that era of music too, the 50s and early 60s, that just really holds on to people's hearts. It's infectious, it, uh, it's nice to look out over the audience and see people really enjoying themselves. Um, you know, they're invited to participate, so you, you see, you know, some of these people getting up and boogieing <laughs> right at their you know, table or they, they rush the stage at the end of the show and uh, this talented group of guys are just uh, unbelievable. They, uh, there's not much that they uh, uh, can't do and their, their talent is so infectious that the, the audience just erupts at the end of the evening. Because most of us did not get the opportunity to see any of these performers live, so mm -hmm. this really brings them back to life for us. It, and it brings them totally back. and, and here again, I'm, I'm coming back to our cast, but I can't say enough because, you know, with a show like this, it's not just acting. It, it's got, you gotta act, you gotta sing, and you gotta be a musician. You gotta be able to play the, uh, whatever icon iconic instrument was attributed to that guy at the time. And uh, this cast that is just unbelievable. They've gotta channel the persona. The persona, and, and they've gotta channel the music. <laughs> I mean, and it's gotta be good. You can't fake it. Yeah. And, um, uh, they're going to perform for you here in a little bit, but um, you know. Yeah, we got a sneak preview, and they are absolutely amazing. They really are in bringing this music to life. Speaking of music, there's almost two dozen songs in this show. Yeah, you're going back to you know blue suede shoes and all a lot of the tunes that Elvis made uh, popular. Uh, of course, Carl Perkins was uh, hit it first with blue suede shoes, and then uh, Elvis carried it on. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've got great balls of fire with uh, Jerry Lee Lewis and. Uh, they do two great a cappella pieces in the show down by the riverside and um, uh, Elvis has a tune in the second act and uh, I mean the, the, just Johnny Cash uh, all, all the tunes that he does in the show so I mean I don't want to spoil it for you. I want yeah. the audiences to come and, and be let it unfold and, for them. Yeah. This we mentioned is based on a, a true event. All of these stars ended up at Sun Records in Memphis by chance. December 4, 1956. Right. I it, it, and it and so whose brilliant idea was it to get them all in the studio together for a jam session? The producer at that time was a, a gentleman by the name of Sam Phillips, mm -hmm. and uh, he was uh, the impetus, impetus of the start of many of these uh, gentlemen's careers. Years. And uh, they just happened to be congregating all at one time, and he let it roll, and they got all this great music. So, uh, and, and you still can hear a lot of clips from that session today. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's out there. And whose idea was it to put it together as a musical, what they call a jukebox musical, because there's so much music in it? I think it was, uh, you know, we were coming into a period on Broadway where there were a lot of the jukebox musicals, you know, Jersey Boys, mm -hmm. um, Ring of Fire was another show that was done at the time. So there were so many of them, and I think a lot of people wanted to catch the wave. And uh, I believe the show started in Chicago in a very, very small space, and then they had, uh, uh, it had become 
popular, and it transferred to the Apollo Theater uh, in Chicago, where they reworked it once again, and then uh, on to Broadway, where it was a, a pretty substantial hit for a period of time. Well, we're going to see a performance from the cast, so yes. kind of set this up in where it is in the show. Well, we're doing, um, uh, we're kind of doing a combo. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the show gets off to a start with uh, Blue Suede Shoes, so it's, it's one of the most popular tunes, so we thought, oh, yeah. we got to bring it to Virginia this morning. And then um, down by the riverside, that tight harmony, the four guys doing it together, there's nothing like that, so you get combination of the two. And in morning. honor of the Riverside Center for the Performing Arts. That's, that's <laughs> going to become our new theme song. Let me just give a quick shout out to uh, Bethany Galleon and James Davis, our production manager, and uh, Bethany, our sound designer. They put everything together to get us down here with instruments and, and costumes and whatever, and I can't thank them enough. For, oh, well, thank you to both work. of them for they doing that. Very hard. This is going to be amazing. This, the show's amazing. You're going to enjoy this this morning, and I'm telling pe people have to get their tickets immediately because this will be a sellout probably in another week. Right now. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks, Cheryl. Riverside Center for the Performing Arts presents Million Dollar Quartet on stage through Sunday, March 5th. Tickets are going fast, so get yours now. Their home theater is at 95 Riverside Parkway in Fredericksburg, right up the road here from Richmond. We'll post all the details, including how you can get tickets, on our website. Just go to WTVR.com slash VTM.